Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Hub Magic. So as you can see there are a lot of cool things in my inventory and there are particles spewing from my feet. So this plugin adds all these cool features plus more. So let's go through what's in my inventory to begin with. We have the teleport gun, um, aka a bow, so where the arrow lands is where you'll be teleported. So if I fire one up in the air and wait for it to come down it will obviously teleport me there. We can disable um, these particles by doing force slash walking particles and that will obviously disable them if you don't want them anymore. If you do force slash hub magic that will show you all the commands so you can, um, if you lose one of these, you can uh, use this command to get it back to yourself or give it to another player which is awesome. And if you are de-opt or don't have permission you can not drop items so because I'm op I'm obviously able to drop items and pick them back up again but normal players wouldn't be able to do that we have the speed stick which is a really cool feature it gives you speed for just under 10 seconds and you can run about really fast we then have the particle gun uh, which is very cool it fires a snowball and particles explode with a little heart like that very very cool we then have the wardrobe so you can uh, actually choose what uh, clothes you wear which is really cool. So if I uh, hit F5 and look at myself now, we have all of these cool clothes on. The invisibility clock, so uh, as the name would suggest, it makes you invisible. I've noticed it also um, turns off particles as well, if you right click it. Uh, and you should be invisible to other players. And if we right click it again, the particles start appearing. And the hat selector. Would it be a hub plugin without a hat selector? No, it probably wouldn't. So obviously we have all of these cool hats, um, my personal favourite is the black banner as uh, it just looks ridiculous, someone's just pop popped a banner on top of my head and I can walk, walk about with it. Uh, we obviously have TNT, pumpkin face, beacon, all of those cool ones, uh, glowstone, redstone, lapis and uh, cobweb as well. That looks, <laughs> that looks like I'm having a bit of a bad hair day. So you can choose any of these to have which is really cool. Uh, mycelium, you don't see that too often really. Um, and obviously the beacon just looks like you're wearing sort of a glass box on your head. Very, very cool. So we are going to have a look in the uh, config now. So let's go there. So here we are in the Hub Magic folder and as you can see there is a config.yml. Let's go ahead and open it and we can see all of the features of this plugin. So we have all of the things that we can disable, such as block placing and breaking, which is useful, so you don't want people griefing, obviously. Item dropping and grabbing, which I mentioned in-game, only worked for me because I was op. I de op myself earlier, and there was a message that popped up, uh, you cannot drop or grab items, so that is very useful. We obviously have the quit messages and join messages that are disabled, so it doesn't spam the chat. Chat is also disabled as well as damage, moving items in your inventory, mob spawning, hunger and weather. So that is very good that it disables all of that for you. And here we have various things that are enabled such as all of the inventory items, a quit and join sound, clear, clearing your inventory on join and a title and action bar. So down here we can actually see uh, the action bar and the title, you can customise the colour and the text obviously. So you might want to put your server name here, uh, which is cool. So server craft by LT Gym or something. And then we have all of the different items, the slots, the cooldown and the name. So you could change that if you really had to. But overall, it's a really cool free plugin to add something to your hub for players to mess around with. So subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.